My name is Rhapsody, and no disciple shall beat me, but good lord, they've been doing it so far. Uh, <clears throat> alright. Give me a random rare relic to start with. Ooh, okay. How many, how many rest sites can I get to? How many do, uh, how many do, 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 how many of the rest sides can I go to? Okay, the, the maximum of three in a single line, but that line also fights two elites relatively early. All right. Big risk, big reward. Let's go. I don't know what it is that I am just evidently awfully missing about this character. But something about it just does not work in my brain. Maybe it's the delayed value thing, right? Because I've always decried delayed value as, well, not necessarily valuable. Maybe that's it. In this game, I typically focus on front-loading all of my effects. So maybe not respecting the retain enough is my problem. Prime time. If the card is retained, deal damage twice. Yeah, it'll help us start taking out elites at least. Land fruit. Uh, I know what earth fruit does. I've forgotten what dream fruit does. Earth fruit is for the first four turns of combat, take, uh, or rather be more defensible at the start of combat. On the first turn, you have four stacks of like bark skin, I think it's called. Uh, and it just reduces the incoming damage per attack by one per stack and it reduces by one stack per round. So four down to one to two. Um, <clears throat> Fade Fruit, I've forgotten as well. Sun Fruit, I think, is raise your max HP. Or is it heal three HP per floor you continue? I think that's the heal three floor. I think Star Fruit is the raise your max HP. And now watch as I'm awfully wrong. <clears throat> okay, prime time for easy kill. We pick up. I'll take parity, just the value card. What blood resin call? Well, there's fragmentalize, but I haven't got any replica. I haven't got any replicas in the deck yet. But I did want to make a fragmentalized deck pretty badly. Heavy switch. At the end of your turn, retain up to one card for each self-retaining card in hand. Self-retaining cards no longer self-retain. Okay, so you self-retain cards that aren't necessarily self-retaining. Interesting. Interesting. I want to take the fragmentalize and then just start to try and pivot towards a relic deck, just because that seems the strongest thing that I can do here in the early game. What I definitely should have done last turn was use Fragmentalize just to get it out of the deck because I don't want to draw into it again. Thankfully, it didn't affect me. Toxic as well as Blue Shift. Yeah, I'll take that literally just to have some defense. I'm also actually going to throw the Necrotic Poison here just because it's really, really awful. This combat in particular is really awful, not the Necrotic Poison itself. <clears throat> Having Blue Shift for the next turn could be really impactful. Ooh, uh, I mean, the enemy is almost dead here. Almost. Okay, so we didn't lose all of our HP there. Hand Mirror, whenever you uh, gain Vulnerable or Weakened, it's also applied to the enemy that sent it. Uh, as well as War Paint. War Paint shatters after four turns. Locked Tornado never shatters. Or rather, won't shatter on its own. So that means that the Fragmentalize will always be valuable for it. No, I'm fine with shattering a War Paint early. This has to be infused, unfortunately. Sunfruit, whether you climb floor, heal for 3 HP. It's really valuable. It's going to be rough as hell to get through this fight, though. All of them having two strength at the start of this combat. Ugh. Yikes.
That's some serious pain. Prevent eight damage this turn, but I moved the electrical pylon to the point where they were about to level up. Let's upgrade the blue sh Actually, I can upgrade that later. I'll upgrade the defend this turn. Because I'll have another opportunity to upgrade that blue shift next turn. And that's when I'm going to play it, so... Okay. Defend. Defend, defend, and I'll keep the strike. We can kill that frontliner now, but I have to get eight block before I do so. Only really just. All this moves started to combat with one dex, as well as... Unlocks a rock replica. Yeah, that's what we want. We want those rock replicas. Uh, light bulb. If you have any unspent energy at the end of your turn, draw that any cards at the start of your next turn. Then I'll dig. Getting super capacitive coin. Consumes all charges. Uh, and it gains charges every single time you gain gold. Consumes all charges to deal three damage to a random enemy. I'll take that. Get myself another charge on the capacitive coin. Fourteen, then fragmentalize, and then we just have this fungi beast left, and probably two strikes next turn. Well, not two strikes, but full defense anyway. Good fight. Essence of steel, as well as rage command. I think I just take the blue shift, give myself more defense. We'll dig again here, getting the crown simplicity. First starter card played each turn is played twice. Got to remember not to start. Don't mind if I do. But I've got to remember to not start with uh, pattern shift because it'll just pattern shift twice. Let's blue shift that turn. It's still pretty good. Uh... Alright. Had to pass up a strike in order to use that blue shift. Not super keen on how that went down. So formal wear, a locked paint. Upgrading, I guess that defend. No reason to upgrade the pattern shift here. Looking for fragmentalize this turn, which we actually do get. Right. Enemy down, we get the Sword of Legend. Upon entering a rest site, heal 3 HP for every monster room you entered since you last picked this uh, since you picked this up, rather, or the last rest site you entered. That also gave us 223. That's a huge amount of money to pick up there. Uh, hands up. Yeah, that's really good for the final fight this floor. I have a lot of defense in this deck. I should actually be fine. I'm gonna dig. Uh, Durian, whenever you gain a debuff, gain temporary HP equal to that amount. Uh, you start, at the start of your turn, you reduce your turn-based debuffs to two, and on pickup, raise your max HP by four. Okay. So the biggest problem we're going to have... The biggest problem we're going to have is getting the Guardian down before they do their first attack. So it looks like I can't succeed on that, but I can change the enemy's intent twice this turn. And yeah, I changed it to defending? It should have gone... Hang on. It shouldn't have changed to defending. It should have gone from attack to debuff to different attack, but it's gone to a different defend instead. Alright, I'm fine with that. Leave myself with some energy to draw some extra cards this turn. It went to a giant buff this turn? That's not right. Well, 
Well. I'm just gonna fragmentalize that one ridiculously. And in leaving these two blue shifts in my hand, make myself incredibly capable of defense. Hell, my next hand is gonna be just so much. Already has nine block on this turn. It's very important that we roll hands up on the enemy every available opportunity to do so. This enemy needs to have no strength, ideally. I could shift you to a different turn, but not necessary. All these rocks look different. Neat. Uh, another hands up. Parity is not damaged this turn. It's okay, though. Double strike, put the enemy on the ground. I'll second hand to hold another strike as well. Since I got a blue shift, I don't really care. If I attack again this turn, the enemy attacks me back. No, I don't need to let them do that. That's okay this time though, because they only get to remove one of my temporary HP. Yeah, negative four strength is pretty, pretty significant. Okay. Hands up again, then we'll go formal wear, just get another rock out there. One damage to a random enemy on shattering, I mean, it's nothing. There we go. Get you to another completely defenseless turn. I mean, literally not defenseless, but you know what I mean. Ooh. I only just get to full defend this turn. I do need more damage in this deck. That's kind of always my problem, right? I've mentioned it before. My problem with this character is almost always that I just don't have enough damage in the deck at all. Let that retain prime time and a strike. Prime time does double damage next turn. I can blue shift for the full defense before I do anything. Kill him. Flaws the boss, I get a rare relic. Matchstick, a right click during combat to activate. Use it once per combat, gain two energy. Sweet. There's also two more cultists next to the law and possibly a last defensive, sure. Another fragmentalize, seems good to me. Old timer is the damage that we will eventually need in this deck, but I might be able to go fine just with the others uh lower your maximum hand size by three okay i need to stop bothering about whether i retain and have self-retaining cards and things like that i've got two self-retaining cards and then i've got one card uh, three self-retaining cards and then i got another card that retains other cards for me um so how often is my hand gonna be far too full because i really want the extra energy i think i just take it anyway Because this is definitely going more towards a rock fragmentalized deck. I don't know if that is a deck archetype, but god, I'm hoping it is. Uh, okay, I'll retain these two, I guess. Locks war paint, hits. Blue shift, I guess. Okay, the enemies aren't doing too much this turn. Now, that formal wear upgrades to... Ah, yes, make two rocks. Beautiful. 
the extra draw from the light bulb was not something I was considering when I picked up the runic obelisk. There. That's entirely my bad. Great. Could have just set up drawing two extra cards next turn with the matchstick there. Powerful negative effect that the frontliner is attempting to use here, and it's just applying frail and weaken. It's formal where the backline then fragmentalized for a bunch of damage. Changed the enemy's intent so damn many times there. Because the card was played twice, and every time I play a card, it changes the enemy's intent, so. Their intent had been changed much. That's okay, though. With all these debuffs they put on us, we were actually comfortable the entire time. Hands up. Strike for the kill. And locked war paint. No, locked anchor. It's a fragmentalized build. We just put every anchor in it that we find. So I get to hold two fragmentalizers here. I overdraw my hand ridiculously. Don't even really want anything that I just got. Damn fragmentalizers. I need all my replicas, damn it. Definitely just hit a defend here. Alright. Still taking no damage, but the enemy loses one strength now. Fragmentalize. Probably too early, actually. Is it? No, it's not. No, it's not too early. It's not even that likely that I ended up getting my other formal wear before I got my next fragmentalize. Jar of slime as well as no. Avoid all of those there. Alright. I definitely want to hit the shop. We have so much money. Lucky slots. Whenever a fighter loses exactly seven HP, gain critical. If the effect is triggered seven times, three times, sorry, in one combat, uh, gain seven gold. We're definitely gonna want locked anchor and probably formal wear here. So let's take those two. Raise your maximum hand size by two. Great. That's going to help alleviate a lot of the difficulties that we've been having with the Runic Obelisk. Uh, how many times do I deal seven damage to an enemy? Because I think it's never. It is never. Okay. So I don't do that. I could take Resonant Call. Resonant Call would be another copy of Locked Anchor for us most of the time. Possibly another copy of Formal Wear. And definitely remove a card from the deck. Get that doubt out of there. That was an extremely good shot for us. God, we even needed... Oh, she's going for a double attack there. Even needed, basically, all of that block on turn one. I'm gonna hands up you twice. Removing their strength is going to be incredibly effectual. Okay. Another one. Yeah, it turns out to have been really good. Uh, so I'll blue shift, then formal wear and formal wear again. Setting up for the first fragmentalize. Which I don't happen to draw. That's okay. I can draw it on other turns. Like this one. Right now. Ugh. 
Okay, so that one didn't necessarily happen, but it's okay. We've got it this turn. Sweet. No, it shatters too early to use that. Alternate timeline, discard two cards, draw two cards from your... Or rather, choose two cards from your door file and put them into your hand. No. Remove a card from the deck. Ooh, yeah, let's get that clumsy out of there. And dig up another relic, heal back to full HP. Whenever you climb four, gain 12 gold. No law works when you spend any gold at a shop. That is actually going to be charging up the super capacitive coin very quickly for us. Do I fragmentalize already? Thirty-four damage to all enemies. Yeah, it was too important. Okay. Let's double up on second hand, then single hit, single hit. That's those kills. Three cultists gets us bronze scales. Started combat with bronze thorns. Bronze thorns, sorry, three thorns. And locked our calcum. Yeah. Gain nine block at the end of your turn. Works with our Aura Calcum. Sure. Let's dig as well. Get the Quantum Egg. Whenever a card is created during combat, it is upgraded. Uh, I don't think we create any cards during combat right now. Vicoria, Merchant, restocks cards, relics, and potions, and all prices are decreased by 20%. And then we'll dig again, getting ourselves a bag of preparation. At the start of combat, draw two additional cards. Okay, Locked Aura Calcum is almost full defense for us just this turn. So here I prevented the cultists from scaling ever. Lots of war paint, and then I wanted to hit resonant call, but resonant call is no longer a skill. Don't need to play anything else here. Fragmentalizes. I use the first one, right? Then I want to strike twice, strike again, second hand the prime time, and then fragmentalize next turn. Fragmentalize next turn? No, of course not. Just prime time next turn. Well, it would have been just prime time. Another locked anchor, huge. I mean, I have two fragmentalizers in the deck. It's difficult for me to not go for that option when it's available. Um, I mean, like, that's the best I can do in terms of defense. I'm probably just looking over the course of this to... gonna be a fair bit of damage I don't want to take. I'm probably just looking to set up for one giant fragmentalize and then murder all of the enemies using it. Resonant Call being upgraded so it's self-retaining is pretty good and then I'll get two anchors out of it. Guess I'll make the frontliner attack this turn because why not? So we can now locked anchor, locked anchor, formal wear, formal wear. Literally, like, fragmentalized draw is now lethal on everyone. And I feel like this is how most of our fights should be set up. Just wait, do all of this, then fragmentalize for the kill on everyone. That's going to be difficult against bosses, is the thing. It doesn't have a kill condition against bosses. Uh, crunch time could be useful for anchors after I fragmentalize, but... When am I going to have anchors after I fragmentalize? I'd love to go to that shop, but I want the more bank to climb a little bit higher here. Spend 80? Sure, it's not a shop, so it doesn't break the more bank. Uh, ooh! Actually, maybe I want all of the shares of Spyco stock. So usually I don't want them, because they're not that great value, but it will just trigger super capacitive coin constantly. 
Yeah, let's do it. Dig, get myself a molten egg when I'm gonna attack to your deck, upgrade it. I'm gonna prevent the enemy from summoning friends. No friends for you. Okay, that's our calcum is fine. Just get that one gold there. Guess I'm holding on to the fragmentalize. Not that it's necessary though. Ooh, I just don't have any defense available this end. That sucks. That's awful. Well, at least I get to defend against the first hit. But I, I just lost seven from the 20 charges of my crystal statue. Gain energy at the start of each turn breaks when you take 13 unblocked attack damage. I have to play, uh, play both of these locked anchors because they are ethereal, so I would have lost them otherwise. Blue shift. Let's use matchstick here. Play that blue shift. This one. Defend twice. Now we're fully defended. Then I'll hands up to start trying to remove the artifacting from the enemy. Resident Call has already been upgraded. Why? I thought Resident Call had already been upgraded. Weird. So 22, 22 times 3, so that's 66 current damage that can deal. We'd be pattern shifting the enemy two times here, so I actually want to double strike, then pattern shift the enemy. Uh, then I've got Spyco stock for 14. Yeah, not bad. That exhausts in two turns. I think I have to fragmentalize now if I actually want to get the damage out of it. Twenty-seven against thirty-two incoming. Yeah, I'm still gonna lose some more off the crystal statue. I'll take the money though, because we can retain the formal wear for next turn, where the enemy might be less defended, and in fact is less defended. Ooh, Spyco stock. I could do that twice with the formal wear. Not with the formal wear, sorry, with the self retaining card, Resident Call. Interested. Okay, there's our Fragmentalize. 34 damage right now. Double strike afterwards. That'll be enough. Rage Command pre-upgraded. Fragmentalized pre-upgraded. I mean, come on. Wanted. Gain energy at the start of each turn. For every 100 gold you have below 500 gold, enemies start with a random buff. Gain 100 gold on pickup. We'd be totally fine. We'd just have extra energy because of that. We're not 100 gold below 500. We're 98 gold below 500, so we're totally fine. I'm not taking on many elites here. I'm just picking up a bunch of relics from rest sites. Let's upgrade the Spyco stock, get more money. I have no clue what I intend to do with all of this money, but I like having it. No, that's necessary for us. We're on a deadline with a shop. Ugh, I mean, there's a shop here, and it's got Foam Finger. For the first three turns of each combat, draw one additional card at the start of your turn. That's... It's so good. 
Place the first attack you play each turn on top of your draw pile. Uh, exhausted cards aren't going to place there, so not worth considering that. When spending gold at the shop, heal for 5 HP, heal 10 HP upon pickup. We don't need to heal. Yeah. All right, I'm going to break the more bank now in order to take the foam finger and remove a card from the deck. Stone Calendar, the end of turn 70 or 52 damage to all enemies. We are almost always still in combat then, so I'll actually take that as well. There's a shop in two spaces time. We're probably not going to be able to do anything there. Remove card and obtain a random gem. I mean, I would probably only do that with curses at this point. Ooh, right. I just buffed the hell out of the enemies from the, the wanted poster. I forgot about that. I got to get more money. Oh, Resident Call isn't self ret Ugh. Right. Screwed that up horribly. Pre-upgraded Resident Call is great. Don't get to do anything here. Or rather, really shouldn't do anything there. So we'll dig. We get the Regal Pillar. Whenever you're resting, you'll additional 15 HP. Not really interested in that. How much money can I get this turn? Because it's very little. Wait, what? How did they go back to a turn when they apply the buff? The debuff to me? That's not supposed to be possible. Is this enemy al uh, allowed to apply more than one stack of Constricted to you? I didn't think that was the case. Use the matchstick this turn, because we definitely need it. Take these two. Cut my damage fair and square. Let's lock anchor, lock war paint. Rock. There's no two ways around it. I really do have to fragmentalize right now. Okay. Locked blood. Heals 3 HP every turn. We don't need that, is the thing. Hands up, losing one strength at the end of your turn. Who's the boss at the end of the floor? Sneko. That's not even that important against them. Lantern, start each combat with additional energy. We do want the... Or a Calcum, if you end your turn without block, gain six blocks. Sure, we have an Aura Calcum in the deck, don't we? Do you gain? We got blue box. Add two cards to your deck from the cards you skipped over earlier in this run. Oh. Hmm. I could be confused in the final fight, which would make Rage Command a lot better. And if I take two Rage Commands here, they both get upgraded. Molten Egg. So, well, I mean, one of them's already upgraded. Or I could go Rage Command Old Timer. Let's me scale into having some damage late in the combat. Formal Wear is also actually really good for this deck. Three copies of Fragmentalize in the deck. I gotta remember that. Three copies. Yeah. We're gonna want Formal Wear to be one of the cards. Upgrades when we take it. And probably Old Timer to be another. Yeah. So they both upgrade. Courtesy of the Molten Egg. Oh god, you got nine regen from that. Oh, that's awful. It's so bad. Skill Potion looking for... Play all powers in there? No. Fine. I'll take Ticked Off so that I can get some Block and Haste. Change your intent twice. Hell yeah. Forgot that I would just have lethal that turn. <laughs> Ooh, another formal wear. Okay. Hmm, deck is getting a lot more playable now.
Okay, so what? Super capacitive coin, three times that, 120, so I can't just straight up murder the boss by just walking into the fight. Which is what I wanted. Well, damn. Fragmentalize, well, resident call, resident call after a Spyaco stock. Sure, I can just get 40 gold right now. I feel like I should probably block some this turn. I don't want to Fragmentalize right now, but I also think it's possibly my only play to not take damage this turn. Right, because I play that, I play that. 11 more. It's not enough. I have to Fragmentalize. Yeah, that's a bit much. Ow. This was the worst case scenario. Not drawing either of my locked anchors, but drawing both of my Fragmentalizers. I can't believe it happened, but it did. Sucks. Locked wall paint hits the second hand because we're going to be double playing that this turn. Second hand gets double played. Let's fragmentalize. Save ourselves some HP here. Ow. There goes my crystal statue, unfortunately. Which I was desperately hoping not to break. And at the very least, we managed to prevent all damage this time. I wonder if I could have just pattern shifted the enemy to dead. Oh, I can! Got him! Ha! Locked anchor. Pre upgraded. Let's see. Spyco's 22 here, and I can just resonant call it twice. Lovely. 22, 22, 22. I don't want to fragmentalize yet. Let's anchor. After formal wear. I want to roll that twice. Sure. Still no damage taken. Pre upgraded fragmentalize would have been really good here, but, you know. Offer what you think you can. So I can get one more rock up and then fragmentalize. So that would be 16 damage, 13 only dealt to the enemy. So they're on 102. Uh, and then we have 170 incoming damage. Yeah, we win. Great. Adrenaline potion. Draw two cards and gain one energy. Is definitely another locked anchor. Take the Adrenaline Potion here. I'd love to go to that store, but I need to have fewer debuffs on me, so I need to get some more gold. Resonant Call, at least, is self-retaining, so... Yeah. I'm not going to have to worry about it. Oh, the enemy has Malleable? I did not know that's one of the boss they could pick up there. Oh, okay, yeah, we should have played around that. I mean, I could Fragmentalize and then Old Timer for the kill right now. It's really important that I get all of the gold out of my deck, though. It's a garbage Spyaco stock, though. Literally only gets us one more gold. Okay, this one's great. 28, and then another 28 there. 
only need like one more like that and I'm totally covered. Okay, we'll upgrade this one. It's not self retaining for a good turn. God, both of those Spyco stocks are garbage. Value may change over time. I don't know if it changes per turn or per draw. It's per turn. Okay, so we definitely did not want to retain each of those. That was awful. How defensive do I want to be? I think that defensive. I think I do hold out for something better here. Ugh. The enemy is almost dead this turn. And I take a lot of damage. Let's get the extra card draw. Doubling up on that isn't bad, but yeah, we have to kill. Lame. Really, really, really wanted to get more gold there. Thank you. Uh... It's really important those fragmentalizers are upgraded. Being, you know, all of our damage. Okay, so the enemies get one buff. Oh, you got one strength. Okay, that's not even that bad. In fact, I'll take it away from you immediately. How about that? These anchors disappear if I don't play them, so I just play them. Have to draw four extra cards this turn. Choose two cards to transform. Probably Spyco stock both times, but since we don't have another one here, we'll get rid of the strike. Old Timer is just the card that I want to build up. Hell of a lot of anchors. Both of those gone. Another anchor, locked blood, formal wear. I'm gonna blow up all these now. No, I don't want to blow up all those now. The primary reason I don't want to blow up all those now is just because the enemy summons a baby Sneko this turn. So now I want to blow up everything with Fragmental Ice. Just Kutar's two cards to transform, rather. Ooh, Tempo. It doesn't even know what to do against the Grand Sneko, but it gives me Rita Muto from the baby Sneko. Baby Sneko, excuse me. I actually am going to want that. Five vulnerable and five weak is huge. So Fragmentalize now kills the frontliner for me. As well as dealing a huge amount of damage to this Grand Sneko for me. So this would give us five turns of Orichalcum. Five turns, five... Five times seven, 35 damage I could do with the Orichalcum in the crunch time this turn. I'm going to block every turn, so Orichalcum is worth nothing to me. Yeah, Tempo just doesn't hit. Isn't that wild? Huh. Just two cards to transfer. Probably Pattern Shift and Blue Shift here. Ooh. Yes. So we'll use the matchstick this turn. We'll double hit with formal wear. And then another one at the end. And then... Fragmentalize for a patently insane amount of damage. And then use the supercapacitive coin at the very end for a hundred... What? Why did it deal 292? Was that 
adding on the damage from the Fragmentalize beforehand, because that should have only been 180 or something. Uh, Flaws the boss, we get another rare relic. Sweet. Oh, do be dull. For each curse in your deck, we'll start with one strength and we have no curses. But that is a successful disciple run. Look, I knew it would happen eventually. Didn't even get to the final level of unlock. Oh. What salt in the wound. But that was fine. That was a fine run. It took a lot to get us over the line though. Like just avoiding all enemies and just digging constantly. Now, not all of these relics were super helpful. Super capacitive coin, rarely. Uh, although we were trying to build around it. Uh, Matchstick is incredible. Quantum Egg did nothing. Coria did basically nothing. Back Vibration is amazing. Crystal Statue was around for a while. Like we had some, we had a lot of relics carrying us for a significant period of time there. The old timer felt like it would have been more important, but it really seems like you're going to want a lot of zeros if you want the old timer to be important in any significant amount of time. But that again shows my bias towards front loading damage rather than delayed damage, right? Old timer is delayed damage. For the moment though, my name's been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Slay the Spire. We have finally defeated the Disciple. And now I need to do it with other builds. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.